big question now for 2015-2016. How to hustle and make money. You have a lot of people hustling. They're not making any money. And I thought about that because essentially there's a few reasons that the hustle is not working. The number one reason your hustle is not working is you only hustle when you have to. Now, hear me out on this. There is a extant hustle, which is always, you hustle when you don't have to. Now, that's the supreme level of hustling. Even when the bills are paid, even when things are going well, you still are hustling. That's the highest level. But most people operate on the lowest level, which is hustling on a per needed basis. So that's the number one reason your hustle doesn't work as well as you would like because you don't practice it enough. Now, let's also deconstruct the word hustle. You have many people who, well, hustle is a negative word. Hustling, hust, no, hustle is action. Every time you use the word hustle, in your mind, see yourself taking action. That is all hustling is, is taking action. Some people hustle for good, some people hustle for bad. But in any event, whether it's good or bad, the hustle is about action. It's about taking action. It's about enhancing your ability to get things done, to create a better situation. So number one reason, and I'm gonna be very repetitive because one of the things I've noticed in my seven years of doing YouTube videos is people will hear one thing and latch on like a pit bull and just ah, can't let it go. So no more reason your hustle is not working is you do not hustle enough. You don't practice it and you only hustle on a per needed basis. You've got to elevate your hustle to an elegant hustle where even when you've got money in the bank, bills are paid, you are still hustling. That's that internal drive. That's that that fear of one day all the shit's gonna fall apart. <laughs> when you get to that level of hustling, you will your hustle will always work because you're always practicing what you're doing. Number two, the number one reason no practice. Number two reason for a failed hustle or less effective hustle is shame give you a, uh, something that happened recently. There was someone who was saying that I was driving for Uber. Now, for those of you who've been here, you know that I drove for Uber last year, wrote a book about it, and created a course. Now, this rumor goes on because, let's say, say I did drive for Uber. What would be the problem with that? See, this is the thing. Many people have this um, thought process that if you're a business owner, you're hustling, that's got to be your main thing. That's got to be your main thrust. That's what, not necessarily. Marie Folio, someone I admire deeply and I watched her videos for a long time, she admits six years she was hustling and it wasn't working out the way that she wanted. Only maybe the last five years has she elevated to where she wanted to be. She was doing bartending, teaching yoga, teaching dance. She was doing all types of hustles while she was working on her main hustle. So number two, reason that your hustle is not working is you're ashamed of it because you are living your life based upon the expectations of other people. Well, I'm a business owner. I should have business cards. I don't have business cards. The only way that I'm getting business cards is if I start going to more events. And even then, this is another thing. If you don't have business cards and you want to network and meet people, when you meet someone, hey, what's your phone number? Put their phone number in there, send them a text message, then put in your memo to contact this person within 24 hours. That's way better than a business card. Give them all your stuff or get an e-business card. It's not the card, it's the connection, it's the activity, it's the hustle with getting the information and making that connection. But the number two reason that your hustle is not working in 2015, and it will not work in 2016, is you are ashamed of your hustle. You are ashamed that you are where you are because you feel, because you're a certain age, because you're a certain gender, or a certain position, a certain geographical location, that your hustle needs to be crisp, shiny, and mature. Well, if you haven't been hustling that long, 
how can you expect to have a mature hustle? I mean, for many of you, once again, going back to reason number one, why your hustle is not working, is you only hustle when needed versus hustling all the time. I mean, think about a basketball player or a football player or a concert pianist or someone who plays the violin. If they only played it when they felt like it, they would not be as good as they are from daily practice. So you need to get your hustle to the point where you have consistent practice where you're working on your hustle, where you're working on the craft of your hustle, where you're putting that stuff out there. That is extremely important in you developing a mature, sexy, elegant, crisp hustle. Number three reason that your hustle is not working, why, you, why you're not hustling the right way and why you're not making money. And this is a biggie. You do not respect your hustle. Now it seems like closely related to number two, but it's not. Shame is one thing and respect is another. And respecting your hustle is when you meet people, you share. Well, I do this and I do that. Um, when I wrote my first book, or I was in the process, I was a little hesitant to share that because I was living in Atlanta, Georgia. And Atlanta, Georgia is one of the places where more people are about to do something. I'm working on something. I'm shaping something up. I'm working on my rap career. I'm working on my, you know, I've been working on that shit for two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe a decade just working on it. Like uh, Tom Cruise told Jamie Foxx in the movie, uh, was it Collateral Hostage? I forget the name that, you know, you were never going to do it because what is the uh, lease on the limo? Four twenty-five a month? So I, I was not really wanting to share because you get tainted by that I'm about to energy. So when you respect your hustle, you push as hard as you can to get some type of result. Then once you get the result, then you can talk about your hustle. It's not a, it's not a conversation of I'm working on. It's a conversation of I did this, I did that this was accomplished and now as a follow-up to what I've already done see then then you can respect your hustle but long as you're in that fin to stage about to stage getting ready to about to start shaping it up research and development beta as long as you're there it's very hard to respect your hustle so that's the number three reason while your hustle doesn't work now I know the title of this video is how to hustle and make money one of the best ways to help you is tell you what not to do so you can actually reverse engineer this and learn how to hustle to make money. The number four reason why you're not hustling well and why you're not making money is you're lazy. There are many people who are very talented. You're lazy or slash comfortable. If you're in, the thing is, you don't have to be rich. You don't even have to have all your bills paid. It's just people reach a certain level of comfort, whatever that may be for that particular person. And they don't really put a lot of energy into the hustle. There's not a lot of energy into the hustle. There's just uh, more of that, well, you know, if it happens, cool. If it doesn't happen, I'm cool with that. Comfort is the death of success. Google that. I got a video here. Comfort is the death of success. Check that video out so I don't have to go any little deeper. And those are some pivotal reasons why your hustles don't work. Okay, number four. You use your lack of experience as a crutch. Well, I don't know how to hustle. I've never hustled before. You know, when you hear people who give these disclaimers when they talk about, like, say, something legal. Well, I'm not an attorney. I'm going to tell you something. If you go to the law library, you read the code, you understand the code, you go and prepare yourself for court and understand the rules of how a court operates and the rules of evidence and presentation. No, you're not a lawyer, but you're a competent person who understands the law and can apply it. Whenever you hear someone's like, well, I'm not a lawyer, that's pretty much as an escape clause because they don't want to catch any blame or truly an inferiority complex because if you know your shit, you know your shit. And if you know your shit, you can apply it. 
So that whole thing of I'm not this, I don't hustle that much, I've never done it before, it is an excuse. This channel that you're watching, when I started, there were no views, there were no subscribers. Everyone has to start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere as you build your hustle, as you put together your hustle. It's just not going to pop out of nowhere. You've gotta work on that. Another reason that your hustle is not doing what it needs to do, reason number five, is you've never defined what your hustle is. There's a hustle and there's a business. You can turn some hustles into businesses, but many hustles will never be a full business. So you have to define what your hustle is, okay? My main hustle when I started, because I didn't know how this thing was, was to use this YouTube channel as a lead generation device for my first book. That was a hustle, because I didn't know where it was going. I had a desire where I wanted to go, but I didn't know where it was going, so I was really, really hustling. Then once the book was written, and then it became a real thing, and then I got customers, and I got sales, then it became a business. But as long as you were just pushing out there and you're hustling, and once again, the difference between a hustle and a business is a hustle requires you to always be pushing it. Like with uh, when my um, conundrum media, which I, I shuttered, when it became a business, it became total 100% all the power. I was doing all kinds of stuff. I wasn't working on it. And it was making money. There was about a two and a half year period where it was a pretty much a passive income business. Didn't do anything. Really didn't add that much to it. And it made money. So it was a business. Now, when you step away from your hustle, when you take your foot off the gas and your hustle slows down then no you you don't have a hustle i mean you don't have a business you have a hustle so that's the big difference if it can run itself it's a business but if you have to push it it's a hustle and there are many of you who think you have a business which is just a hustle because if you go home and you take a week off and no money comes in that that's not a business that's a hustle a business one of the biggest uh direct determinations uh well signifier or identifier of a business is it can operate and make money whether you're there or not it can do that for a minute but if you have to always be there uh that's a problem that's a problem so those are some of the reasons that your hustle isn't working in a minute, I'm gonna talk about what you can do to make your hustle work. Now, what you can do to make your hustle shine. Number one, practice, 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 practice. When I was an outside salesperson, I was a little shitty in the beginning. Well, that's not, I was a whole lot shitty. I was very shitty. Didn't know what I was doing. I was afraid of customers. Uh, made all kinds of mistakes. Uh, had deals I could have closed if I knew what I was doing. Actually turned money away because I didn't understand how the sales process worked. Didn't have a clue. Didn't know what I was doing. And it was very bad. Then one of my sales mentors told me. He said, well... Even if you're a shitty salesperson, if you present enough, you'll make sales, which is true. So for you, if your hustle is shitty, you have to practice, practice, practice. And the best people to practice on are strangers, not your friends, not your family, because that's who you're going to sell to. I don't care how many friends you have. I don't care how many family members you have. At some point, you're gonna run out of them very quickly. So, as you are putting together your hustle, put together a 30-day practice plan where you, you, you put it on the calendar somewhere and you're just like, every day I am gonna practice my hustle, whatever it is. If you are a Craigslister, you're gonna pick 30 days and you're gonna go hard for 30 days whatever you're doing with Craigslist. If you are trying to start your own website, you're going to, now that gets to be more involved, 
because you will have to, there's so many things to do, but you're gonna pick the thing that makes you the most money. You're gonna, because you'll know from your information what gives you the most sales, what makes you the most money. You're gonna take that thing and you're gonna hustle hard on it for 30. You're gonna practice the things that yield the results that you want. Number two, you're going to own your hustle. When someone asks you what you do, you're gonna say, well, this is what I am. I remember I was at a dinner party and there was a group of one, two, three, four of us standing around. And the people are just, you know, well, so what do you do? You know, that's one of the first questions that people ask. So what do you do? What's your background? Where'd you go to school? These type of things. And then I, it's like, what do you do? I was like, well, I'm a hustler. Then all of a sudden, everybody, all eyes were on me, and we discussed that. And then I was like, well, I have this, I have this, and I have this. And I walked out of that party with some business. Now, if I had never said anything, if I had never made that contact by, you know, just sitting there, because the thing is, when you own it, and I, I don't even know how to explain it to you, but when you own it and when you're comfortable with it, other people become comfortable with it. I mean, the one, the name of the family corporation is the Hustler Mindset Project. And when people see that, they're like, mm, you know, some people, but, and then it, it provokes a conversation, which provokes greater understanding. And it has not, you know, from setting up the you know, corporation, from setting up the bank accounts and stuff, not had a problem and it has the word hustler in it so that should tell you if I can do these things with the word hustler <laughs> in the documentation then you can own your hustle whatever it is I don't care if it's an ice cream cart I don't care if it's a pet grooming service you need to be proud and own your hustle and speak out because you could be in the grocery store speaking to the clerk about you're a dog groomer and the lady behind you has got this big woolly uh, master who needs a trim and then you're like oh my god I need this can you do it today business people leave business on the table all of the time because they don't own their hustle number three practice ownership number three you must set goals you're it's a hustle but you got to be a have have goals you got to have big hairy you know, over the top, warm gold. You gotta have goals. You cannot just like go out there and hustle in the blind. Well, I'm gonna go out here and get money. What does that mean? I'm gonna go out here and get money. There's no framework, there's no shape, there's no texture. It's just, I'm out here getting money. Now, if you say today, I'm gonna go out and my goal is to earn $500 today. You have a goal, you have a purpose, you have a, a deadline. 500 bucks today. You may not make it. You may make more, but at least you're better off than I'm gonna go out here and get some money. I'm gonna get money. We get money. <laughs> we get money. No, you don't. Like Gary V said, I can show you the people who go to the bank and pull out all the money they have and spread it out on their bed, and then after they take the picture, they go ahead and put it back in the bank. So create some goals. So those are some tips for you, how you can hustle and make money and some of the things that you should avoid. Now, if you like these tips, and you should, be sure to check below the video. There's awesome, some awesome, helpful stuff. And be sure to check out hustlerskungfu.com blog. More commentary, more things like this. And I'll see you guys in the next session. Okay, for those of you who stayed here till the end of the video, this is what's going down. You have until November 6, 11.59 p.m. to get the site-wide deal. So let's start off with what's going down. $25 hustle, stack, flip, cash out, the mindset course, 30 days to $2,500, the original business building course. Local Hustles, Hustling Craigslist to Enter Game, the Craigslist Marketing Course, and Becoming the Boss, 30 Days to 2500 Fast Start, Your Credit Course, Disruptive Money, Personal Money Management, Disruptive Mating, Child Support, and these are just, you'll get the first podcast and blog post, discussion box, and affiliate offers. Now, let's go back to the beginning. You get all of that for $450 plus these courses that are coming. Pre-sale means that they're 
on the development map, but they aren't there yet, but they're coming. Just to let you know, plus that will qualify you, this deal, for everything that's on this site and everything that is coming. So that deal disappears November 6, 11.59 p.m. Now, there's something new here. And I'm gonna go in here and show it to you. And let's get in here. This is a brand new blog. I'm showing you all the back end stuff. And we will go here. Yeah, it's so secret, you can't even see it. And this is Hustle Teams. What I'm gonna do is put together accountability partners. There'll be more information here for those of you, because if you sign up for the deal before November 6th, you will also get the Hustle Team, which as you can see, it's 150, 250, and Samurai's 800, but you will get the Hustle Team Silver or Nomad, as we call it. So this is the deal. You get all of this and this, For four hundred and fifty dollars until November six, eleven fifty nine p.m. So just letting you know, and right there, once you come in, you can click that, check it out. Once my internet decides to do what it's going to do, since there's so many things going on right now, there we go, and you get that. So with that, I'll see you in the next session.